<laughs> Daka, you can come back. Hello, my girlies. Hello, my girlie. Hello, boy. Hello, my zoba boy. We are going to be taking Siam, Echo, and Naobi for a walk. And uh, everyone is really excited about it. It's been long overdue. <laughs> Hey! Don't be like that with her! One, go on. Okay, good one. Okay, wait, wait. Yeah, boy. <laughs> there we go, big boy. Well done. Someone's got their big butt on the gate. Get your big butt off that gate. Thank you. Alright, so we're here um, where we're going to be walking and I think they are really, really excited to get cracking with their walk. Here goes guys, ready, two, three, woohoo! <laughs> Free! Free! Why are you going that way? So good to be out and about, eh? Okay, so Simon's found his first exciting smell that is rubbing and rolling, getting all euphoric, acting on all those dopamine receptors, but he's hearing all the other lines roaring, so he's caught between what to do. Do I sit and sniff, or do I go and investigate the roars? Hmm, I think I'll just rub the smell all over my face. The interesting thing is that Last night there was a huge amount of rain and uh, so as you can imagine um, some of the smells are washed away but some of them are actually more concentrated. <laughs> Look at him having a good time. <laughs> Marking his territory. This is what it's about, is giving them the opportunity to stretch their legs, do whatever they want to do. I'm just a fly on the wall, following them around as they get up to whatever they want to do. So, as mentioned, there's been a lot of rain and uh, I think you can see how quickly everything has just greened up. Everywhere is just, the grass has just sprung out of nowhere, which is what happens when we have the rains that we need. We've had quite a, a substantial amount of rain now over the past week, way over 110, 120 milliliters. So, um, lions are happy. Hello, Gilly. Oh. oh, it's so nice to just be outside doing nothing. Hey. I can't play with my GoPro. She's in such a fun mood. What this also allows, guys, is the lions to actually get away from each other. If you can imagine a lion, again, living in one area all of its life, um, there's no reprieve. How do you get away from your pride mates? You can't, can you? On a walk like this, if they don't want to walk together, they don't have to. If they want to go and sit somewhere, lie under a tree, or just walk away in the opposite direction, they can. Echo's in a really good mood. So, yeah, she seems to be spending a bit of time on her own, which is great. Hey, big boy. <laughs> really having good time, eh? Who's having a good time, Sami? Oh. Sami? Spoil your cat. Spoil your cat. <laughs> He's making sure that he marks every single tree he gets the opportunity to mark on. Every new group of lions that you bring in here they all react differently. So they've all got a different uh, pattern in which 
um, they start to, which starts to emerge the more they go in here. So this is uh, the first time that Siam and Eka and Naobi have been here. And it's really interesting to see uh, the direction that they've set off in. Um, not the same as Vietzi La Virginie or Bobcat and Gabby or Megan Amy. Um, they've set off in a totally different kind of manner, which is really fun because you actually get to explore new areas uh, within uh, this large area. So um, I'm seeing places that uh, I haven't seen um, for quite a while, and that's quite fun. Time truly is having a sensory overload. I think I should have been using Siam for sense and sensibilities. Hey, big boy. What do you smell? Eh? Hey? What do you smell? Oh! Hello, my girlie. <laughs> what a sweet girl. Hello. You come to play? You come to play? Are you tired? Eh? Can't be tired already. So I think this group is relatively unfit. So I'm going to try and lead them down this way. Uh, come, Nobi. Yeah. Oh. Go, 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 go. Come. All right, and then just one thing to note, and I think it's worth mentioning because I have had the comment come up before is, uh, well, why? or uh, Echo and Naobi carrying excess weight. So I think let's not beat around the bush. I think the question is why do they look fat? So there's a couple of reasons for why these girls uh, carry slightly more weight. At the previous facility where I was, they had produced cubs in the past. So um, there is that that takes a toll on the body. And the second thing is, is that they have been in contraception since we moved here and even before that. So for the past, I'd say eight to 10 years, these ladies have been in contraception, which plays havoc with metabolism, got them on really stringently monitored diets. Apart from starving them, the process is quite a, um, it's quite a difficult one. So actually, if you look at them, um, they should be offended that I'm calling them fat because they are actually carrying um, excess skin. So there's that loose skin that they're carrying on their, uh, on their abdomens. So if you look at them, they're not morbidly obese. Uh, if you look at the condition of the actual uh, musculature, you can see definition in their, their ribs and on their triceps um, and they their chest fat here where lions uh, carry um, or like to carry their, their, their weight. Um, they're not, when you feel it, it's not that chunky fat. Okay, um, they're not super skinny. They're certainly not the Gabby's of the world. Gabby seems to have a much higher metabolism. Genetics is the last point. Uh, oh, and lastly, actually, while it's on my mind, is that you wouldn't look at your grandmother and point a finger at her for carrying a few kilos extra. Um, and actually, in effect, these girls are grannies. Um, uh, their condition is good, their health is good. Uh, they don't have any issues. So a little bit of exercise like this is really good for them. Um, that's the other thing. They don't get uh, or haven't been getting the exercise that they need. This is why this is so important and so good for them. And uh, yeah, we can just walk them out here for like two hours or so and uh, it's just really fascinating to see what uh, what sparks their interest. Should we go and look at the, the waterfall? See if there's any water in there. Yeah, there's the dam wall. And if you look, there would be water, 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 all the way up there. And that would be quite a beautiful course of water which I can't actually wait for it to get some in. It's going to be really, really pretty. <laughs> I heard you. How could I not? Lion's sneaking up. Come down. Come. Jump. You can jump from there. You can jump from there. Come on. Come, Lily. Hey, don't be chicken. Don't be chicken. Oh, really are acting like an old granny. Why don't you just stroll into the dam? Hey? 
You terrible. You terrible. Where on earth did this come from? Ugh, glass jaw. We say to people, this farm tends to grow things. Another reason why we need to be so careful what we leave behind in the bush, um, because anything that's not natural, the animals have an inclination to explore it and, you know, touch it and taste it. And uh, certainly if we're leaving stuff like plastic around, weirdly enough, uh, they're attracted to it and they want to chew on it. Um, and plastic can cause intestinal obstructions and stomach obstructions and it could be death sentences um, or can spell death sentences to many animals. So another reason why we need to be very conscious of what we leave behind when we venture into the bush. Oh! Hello girl. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, um, which is also, it's an ibis, it's a bird, flew over and it cast this big shadow on the ground. <laughs> and I hope you got such a fright. Uh, my girlie, there's nothing wrong with your vision, hey? Sure. Okay guys, so I've decided to leave the lions in the riverbed and uh, they are having a rest there. Now Obi and Echo, Siam is still uh, walking around. He's enjoying time out on his own. So I think Siam is actually going to go and try and find some water now. We're going to just leave it there. Um, so guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video um, as much as I did making it and you'd like to see more videos like this on this channel, Line with Spirit TV, please do subscribe. Um, subscription costs you nothing, you can just hit the join button. Um, they'll make it easy for you down in the description below. Just go down there and have a look and you can hit the join button, join the channel and then you will be alerted to all the videos that come out on time. You'll never miss out on an event that's happening here at the sanctuary. If you want to go a step further than that guys, you can become a member. Um, but by becoming a member, you help me with my mission um, in spreading uh, as much awareness as possible to the plight of the lion in, of the plight of the lion in captivity and in the wild. So uh, for a nominal uh, monthly amount, you can contribute uh, via members. Um, it's really fantastic. It helps me also to get out to go and visit other game reserves, other areas and see what the, the needs are um, out there. Um, just bring you more uh, interesting content, longer form content. A lot of you have been asking for the longer form content, so that'll enable you to get that. Um, you also have cool little emoji stickers next to your name, tells people that you are a member. Uh, the color would also change depending on how long you've been a member for. And uh, last but not uh, least, there's also uh, special community posts that uh, you will receive too with updates and pictures. So that's quite, quite nice. So thanks for watching and as always, hope to see you next time. Bye.